One quarter to go in this contest between the Blues and the Kangaroos. The ball back in the middle to start the final quarter of this clash. Straight away on the ball is Ashley Grant. She gets a quick kick out to the wing and she finds Katie Nesta. Nesta collects, but she's tackled straight away by Lochnane. Ball still in play. It looks as though the Roos have got possession. They will look to bang the ball into their forward line. All alone is Hayley Trevine, and she's joined by a Blues defender now. That's the number eight, Fiona McDonald. McDonald can't stop the quick kick forward. Looks as though it might be a goal and just missing to the far side. That would have been a great way to start the quarter for the Roos, perhaps not to be. And now the Blues will look to take the kick in. Let's take a quick look. It was a very quick snap from the boundary. Just didn't quite get the bounce. It bounced left instead of right. What a good start that would have been to the quarter. Not very unlucky. Oh, sorry, unlucky there. So 9963 plays 0 2 2. Pardon me. Need to get a goal on the board just to, for something. This could be their worst loss if they don't uh, uh, get something together quite quickly here. The Blues as Vanderbeek takes the mark and just stems the tide. Now look for Katie Rankin here. She's looking for a cheeky little hand pass and go here. Won't get it, but she's done it before. I know what she's like. Oh, Katie, she wants that goal. Marked on the line, semi-Falcon, but uh, still got the mark I reckon, just in front of the line there. J-Mac reckons touched. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw a touch, so I don't think the umpire saw the same thing. But I don't mind letting her have the mark, because it was a good mark. Mm -hmm. The Blues are struggling. Let her have the mark. That's what I reckon. I know there's no room for sentimentality in football, perhaps, but I'm giving it some room. What a good strong mark that was taken by the Ruse player. It looks to be... I believe that was Jeffrey backing back. It was. And I think she might have banged it through from 35 metres. She's just missed. Perhaps I thought it was through, but the goal umpire Sambo, we'll call him, <laughs> says Sam, no. Goal umpire Sam Casella keeping us on our toes today. He is. Just leaving it to the last second, and finger goes up. So good job down there, Sammy. He's an Eagles boy, Sammy. We won't see him in action in the game today. Now the Roos, they've got the ball through Jeffrey. She bangs it back from a similar place to where she had a shot on goal. Quickly across was Trice. Got the ball, but she was immediately tackled. Players stop, umpire said play on. So the Blues will now quickly get a kick away. That's the number 15, Alti. Alti giving a hand pass, but tackled straight away. Trevine was with the tackle. Trevine again laying another tackle. The umpire's had enough and he will ball it up. Interesting play there. That was an interesting little little run down there. So everyone just kind of stopped. Um, and then just the umpire was like, ah, play on. Uh, and they just did it anyway. So good job down there. So great rove there. I think it was Trevine who picked that up from out of the atmosphere. Does well on the right boot. It looks like it's going across the face. Hasn't gone through yet. That's Vicky Barron going down to ground. Does well. Gee, she's fighting hard. They're up by about 100 points and they're still fighting hard. I love this about this Ruse team. Blues are doing well just to stem the tide. It's, they haven't given up as many points as they have in the past, but as, at the same time, Roos just really fighting hard for all those points, as many as they can get. Uh, league leaders, obviously. Ball now inside 54, the Roos. Ball up again. Lognane's going to go up in the ruck for the Blues. I'm oh, sorry, for the Roos. It's getting very close to the Roo goal square. Bit of a close range falcon there from a teammate. That's never fun. Ball's going out towards the commentary position. Is it going to go out of bounds? Looks like it might just stay in. Terry lays a bump there. It's gone out of bounds. And ball up right in front of where J-Mac and I are sitting. I'll tell you what, perhaps you mentioned, uh, or in fact we mentioned earlier, Sam Casella is the goal umpire. We, we must mention that he was going to play football for the Eagles this season, but unfortunately in round two pulled a heart muscle and uh, ruled himself out for the rest of the season. So that was unfortunate. Tell you what, that heart muscle just keeps getting pulled by him, doesn't it? Yeah. He just can't get it get it fixed. He keeps having that going for surgery. Oh, mate, he's struggling, old Sammy. Has the ball now inside. Look at this four-on-one. Lokdane still gets it. Wants six. Has the shot. Give us some fingers down there, Sammy. He's got the goal very well. <laughs> done and she's kick six officially in the Nick Papadakis school of uh, goal kicking that is a bag of goals that is officially a bag and uh, a very expensive Louis Vuitton handbag possibly perhaps instead of the, <laughs> the no frills bag which some yeah. players like to kick uh, let's just clear that up I'm not buying anyone a Louis Vuitton handbag oh, come on, you're mate. doing that you're, I believe. On, you're on the big bucks <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. well done by Erin uh, she's kicked six and she's uh, just led the way for this roost side they're up to 10 11 71 playing a two behind blue score. Ball now back in the middle to a start play again. Rankin's around the ball. She's first to it. Does get the bit of a coat hanger there. Doesn't get called for it. Plays around the ball and umpire's called legging. Call play on umpire. Why. Just play it on, mate. No, it doesn't want to. Oh, oh it was unfortunate. He could have played advantage because the Blues had all the numbers. They could have had an easy shot at goal. Let him have a goal, umpy. That's what I say. <laughs> I agree with you there, J-Max. So, 
He's caught it back. It's a free kick to the Blues. It's uh, Kelly Witt again. She had plenty of the ball. Probably one of the best players for the Blues, I'd say. She's done well. Going inside again. The, the Blues now, very rare that they go forward. It's collected down there. Can't quite pick it up. It's uh, Coise again. She's wheeling around. Finds a teammate behind her. They go back on the right boot. Up by his bonnie's whistle again. Another free kick. It's gone to the Blues, I believe. And they'll get a free kick. They've got to get something here, J-Mac. I think the umpy might have heard me. He's given the Blues a shot on goal here. And we will watch Russia Kawis, who will go back and give it a ride. We'd love for her to kick a goal here. Maybe get the Blues on the board. She can't. She manages to pull it across to the Blues, Blues forward pocket. Possibly will run out of play, although the Ruse players keep it in. Quick hand pass back to the danger zone. Maybe better to take it out than hand pass it back into the field of play. The Blues, can they take advantage of that? They've got numbers now. They quickly get across. A quick shot on goal. Can't quite get the boot on it. Now Ruse players will come across and force a stoppage. Umpire blows his whistle, says I'll have it. Very impressive by the Ruse. Their, their defensive pressure is up. They're, I mean, I know we've talked a lot about them today. They've clearly been the better team on the park and probably the team that's going to win it all in, in my in my books. And Coach Greg Everett will be very happy that they haven't let their defensive pressure die off, even though they've got a good lead. And they're doing well here as the ball is now outside the 50. They're wrestling it out. Look at this ferocious tackling pressure. Now somebody is down and they're not moving. That is very worrying. She's flat down. This looks bad. She, I don't know, I think she's knocked out. She's head in the hand. We'll take another look here. She went in for, that's Trevine. She went, oh, she's gone down to ground, but didn't see her hit her head. She got pushed. I'm not sure what the case is here. What do you think, J-Mac? Not really sure. I think she might've got a head knock. Uh, she's certainly holding her face. So, um, yeah, I imagine it was just a, a knock to the head, which is, can sort of disorientate you a little bit, maybe a little bit dizzy and eventually, you can shake it off if she can probably jog around a little bit, maybe. She's a tough cookie, Trevian. She's got her bell rung a little bit there, but I think she'll be okay. She's going to jog it off. Well done to her. I think she probably deserved a rest. Plenty on the bench for the Roos. I reckon give her a bit of a rest now, get your best players off. But, uh, yeah, she's struggling a bit. I think somebody needs to get over to her, but um, she's okay. So play goes on here, and the Blues get the kick inside. Mark almost taken. Geez, they needed that one to land perfectly in the chest, and taken was not they'll go along here and umpire's called the ball up yeah i think he's called it out of play good opportunity for the blues here can they get themselves on the board i need a goal Umpire balls it up flying for the ball was alti she couldn't quite get the tap and the blues have got numbers out the back Whoa. can there be a quick snap on goal it was mccauley she was tackled strongly now the ruse can break across half back they've got numbers streaming forward christine lay backing back with courage couldn't quite get hold of the football and Whoa. now amaral she's down looking for the footy and now the blues get back in numbers and very luckily indeed because the Roos continue to stream forward. They still have a few numbers across half forward though. Christine Lay can't take the ball. Now, this looks like Lochnane. Another shot on goal. Has she kicked oh, her seventh? I think she's just missed Ooh, it. Oh, I think she missed it. Sammy Casella. He's put one hand up in the air. I believe that means a goal. Looked like it was out in cricket possibly perhaps. <laughs> or, yeah, or a dismissal. We don't know yet. Yeah. Uh, no, very good job. That's uh, Chrissy Lay there. Just absolute ferocity around the ball. She hasn't had much of the pill today, but she's been good off the Ball. They call her the office owl. She's quite uh, a bit quiet, a little bit of a timid sort of person. Uh, but I, I call bull dust on that. She's very <laughs> ferocious on the on the field, uh, and she's doing a good job today. Well, I had a chat to her boyfriend, who is the goal umpire, Sam Casella. I had a chat to him before play, and he gave a pretty big rap. Said she was agile and had a good kick. So maybe she can get some of the ball in this final quarter. Another the situation of girlfriends better than boyfriend at footy. Could be possible. That's the second time it's the old paper. Dewhurst hustler uh, conundrum. <laughs> Absolutely. Looks as though the Blues have taken a mark in the middle. Good opportunity now for Katie Nesta. It's going to go long now, Nesta. She puts it inside to the Blues. Just want to get one goal. There's only two and a half minutes left of the game. Wheeling around. Very good job by Terry Wasco. She had a pretty good game herself. Gets it across goal. It's a golden rule. Never kick across goal. The Blues could be on here. Don't good do kick. much good with kick. it. Goes up high. It's taken by Kelly Witt. If anyone's going to mark it, I'd trust her for the Blues. Good pair of hands. And she's going to go back now. Uh, don't know about distance here. Again, I think she's about the same distance out as she was her last shot at goal. I think it's one of those things where I think the Blues just need to get as many numbers down there and just try and kick a goal before the end of this game. It was well played by Renee Tong. She spotted Kelly Witt over the top, just lobbed it up. She took the grab. Can she kick the goal? She needs to. She's got a very good piece of it. 
It went all the way and it couldn't be taken on the line by the Blues player. That was Gabriel Grant. Now the ruse, they can break. They've got numbers streaming forward. Lochnane has pushed up the field. Great she shepherd. gets hold of the footy. A good shepherd indeed, perhaps good call. Lochnane now looking down forward. She has got a ruse player. That's the number 18. It's Hayley Trevine. Trevine back to Lochnane. Lochnane now finds Amaral. Amaral oh. over the top. And this should be a Dewhurst goal. And it is eventually, and that's a good goal there, and no doubt she'll be telling Hustler about that over the dinner table tonight, oh, Paps. I tell you what, mate, I think that might have actually rolled through on its own if she'd left it. I think Amaral might be a bit salty on that, but uh, beg to differ. It's going, we'll have another look here. It would have gone through <laughs> on its own. So Alice Dewhurst has done the biggest cherry pick of all time <laughs> and uh, flogged a goal out. But that, anyway, well done to her. That's two under her name. And the Ruse continue the onslaught. They're going to try and crack a ton. They kick a couple more, they might get there. We can't blame her for that. Jacob Hustler would have done exactly the same thing, perhaps. Probably learned it from him. <laughs> I wouldn't be at all surprised. Ball back in the middle. Atley flies, as does Wright. Wright was the one who got the tap out. The Blues come across and force another stoppage. It's one thing that the Blues have struggled with today is just winning the ball out of the middle. Can they get a clearance here? They can't. The Ruse will get the tap again through right. She's tall. She's got a, a good tap on her. She gets up nice and high, and she's won majority of the taps. Now the Blues, they can break forward. Kelly Witt looked to take the ball. She was infringed on. Umpire let it go, and it looks as though she's hurt her leg. She's still down, Kelly Witt. Hopefully she's okay. We don't want any more injuries in this game. That's a big out for the Blues. She's definitely been their best on ground today as they go forward again. The Ruse, here they go. She's got Dewhurst who wants three. She says, get stuffed. I'm kicking this one. <laughs> and it's a goal. Another one for the Ruse. Well, Dewhurst might have got another cherry pick there, perhaps, <laughs> but not today. Not today, says the teammates. So well done. The Ruse kick another one and they're over the 80 point mark. So absolute whitewash today. Unfortunate for the Blues. And but we knew this all along. The Roos are pretty much the best women's con uh, sorry team in the competition. I'd love to see this women's team or this this upcoming Canadian tournament. I know that uh, the North Wind are going down to play the Team USA very soon down in Fort Lauderdale. So a few girls are going down. I reckon the Canadian team has a sneaky chance to win by about a thousand points. Wow! I reckon they're just on fire at the moment. That's a big big call, perhaps. I'll Probably tell you not what. a thousand, but like oh, you know, around the 950 mark. Well, I'll tell you what, they might be on fire literally because Fort Lauderdale is a lot hotter than Toronto. <laughs> yes, it is. Down near Miami, down in Florida. Anyway, ball back in the middle. Now the ruse. They can break. Christine Lay. Can she kick her first goal of the game? She bangs it forward, and what a good kick it was oh. to Dewhurst. She drops an absolute sitter. Jacob Hustle will be telling her about that later on. Another quick kick comes in. Dewhurst has a second go and drops that as well. What's going on there, Dewhurst? I just watched J-Mac throw the pen. It was so <laughs> filthy that she dropped two marks in a row. Actually tossed it. Lock name now. She's got it. Whips it around to Trevine on the siren. Minus score. The Ruse get up and they win the game at 12, 13, 85 to two points. And that will wrap us up uh, for this game. Well done to the Ruse. Unfortunate for the Blues. We'll be back in 10 minutes to wrap it up after the break.